Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. Well, as the title says, I'll be doing an update on my Platymerius bugatus eggs, as you can see in the video. And I'll be doing a tarantula and scorpion feeding as well. So, sort of a, a mixed kind of video today. Um, as you can see, I've put some substrate, just cocoa fibre at the bottom. And then I've just sprayed it with water, put sand on the top, and put the eggs on the top. And I've been told to uh, keep these... Uh, around about the 75 degrees mark and as you can see the eggs are still still doing perfectly fine and as you know from the video there was 135 eggs so I've been told to keep them fairly moist and um, there is a, a little bit of condensation there so what I do is I just put them on my rack and just put them at the back on top of my classic order enclosure so yeah just a little update on the eggs they're doing perfectly fine and if any of the eggs start to hatch I will definitely do a video and uh, keep my lovely subscribers updated. So yeah, let's get on to the uh, tarantula feeding. So everyone, the tarantula I'll be feeding today is my Lassadoria para Habana, my salmon pink bird eater. And as you know, I've still got them super worms. So yeah, let's take the lid off and uh, let's see if it's hungry. So everyone, here goes. There we go. Lassidorias are just like genicolitis. They have got a, a very high appetite. They never really um, fail to uh, eat. So that's a fairly large superworm for him or her. I'm uh, hoping for the female, but uh, only time will tell. So yeah. I'll let that uh, start to eat its meal and I'll get back to you soon everyone. So everyone, I've left it for about five minutes and uh, as you can see the uh, superworm is still alive. You can see the, uh, the pink coloration coming into the tarantula now. Really hope this is a female. But um, if it's a male then I'll probably give it to my friend, Tranchler Dan. He has a uh, an adult female. So yeah, let's just uh, turn the enclosure around. There we go everyone, it's a little bit better. So yeah, I'll let this one continue to uh, eat its meal. And uh, let's go on to the uh, scorpion feeding. So everyone, the scorpion I'll be feeding today is my Parabuthus Velocus Orange Morph male. Now he's a breeding project for hopefully next year. And as you know, two or three days ago, my female freshly malted. She's doing perfectly fine. But as I said, this is the male. So let's just take the lid off and let's see if he's hungry. And there he is, everyone. There's my male. He's looking perfectly fine. I don't know what that white thing, white bit there is. Uh, yeah, he's never malted in my care just yet, but um, he's very, very small. He's nowhere near as big as a female. So yeah, let's get a roach and uh, let's see if he's hungry. There we go, everyone. Oh yes, he definitely was hungry. He has actually been fed. I fed him uh, last week. There you go everyone, she's got a better better angle for you guys. So yeah, it's nice to see him eat. As I just said, he's never malted in my care. So it'll be nice to see him malt soon. And uh, yeah, he did feed last week as well, so he's eating perfectly fine. So he's going under the slate now to... Probably eat in peace and quiet. So yeah. And uh, let's see how the uh, tarantula is getting on. So everyone, as you can see, the uh, tarantula still got its meal. And I think I'll leave it alone to uh, 
enjoy its meal in peace and uh, let's go back to the uh, scorpion so everyone here's the scorpion and uh, you can see it's carrying its uh, meal in its uh, clusori so yeah and I've taken off the uh, the slate as well so you can all have a look but um, yeah he's decided to uh, come out of his hide and have a walk round so yeah I'll let him I'll let him settle down to eat his meal and I'll get back to you soon everyone and there you go everyone got a little bit of footage of him eating his meal let's just zoom in a bit more for you guys Oh no, I can't, it won't let me zoom in anymore. So yeah, scorpions are not really that keen on the light and uh, I've had to uh, switch the light off in my room and dim the light on my iPhone a little bit. So yeah, just a shame I can't do a time lapse, but uh, never mind. There's not much I can do really. So yeah, <coughs> I'll let him eat his meal in peace and uh, thanks for watching everyone